Hey, got a quick Z pinch uh, 101 here for you. What we've got here is the Icarus. Um, because. Alright, so what we got? Z pinch. SAS. Air intake. Probe core. Alright, probe core. SAS. Air intake. Scaled up to make it look nice. Z pinch engine. That's it. Alright? That's it. We got fusion pellets and nothing else. Alright, All right. so we're going to go to the launch pad. We got 23.8 tons to lift, and we're going to see how far it'll go. Um, just using this basic setup right here. Uh, I apologize for the long loading time. Um, lots of mods, you know. <laughs> Takes a minute for the, for the game to load. Uh, yeah, I apologize. Any day now, Kerbal. You can do it. I know you can. Just put the ones and the zeros in the right spot. There you go. Well done. Well done. Uh, a little foggy. I'm gonna just go to the map. And then come back. There we go. Fog's gone. Okay. So, engage SAS. Check our air intake. Yep, it's open. Looking good, lots of intake atmosphere, so we don't have any pressure, static pressure issues to worry about. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so first thing, stage the engine. Look right here, okay, look right there. Fusion pellets, right, is what it says. Click that button, atmosphere. Click that button, fusion pellets. If you do fusion pellets, this will just burn out in like seconds. Click atmosphere, okay? Notice how it says fusion pellets and atmosphere. Now we're gonna cook. All right, hit Z, go to space. There you go, donezo, right? Uh, blew up at about a, <laughs> a little over a kilometer up. Um, but that's it, that's all you gotta do. Uh, Z pinch doesn't require any um, outside power source since it is itself a fusion reactor. Uh, as long as you have air intake, it will go, and as you can see, it'll go strong. Um, so you can stack a lot of weight on that thing and it'll still lift it to orbit. Just make sure you got enough air intake and you're good. Um, static pressure you have to worry about. So like places like EVE and things like that where there's so much air pressure, the vessel's not moving. Uh, so your turbine's not going to actually suck in air and, and give it to the heat exchanger so that you can blast it out the back because there's so much like pressure on the air intake that it's just not doing it uh, if you're not already moving. Um, so if you're if you're having issues on planets like say Eve, you're going to need a backup thruster uh, to to give you a little bit of an extra boost. Um, so something that'll get you moving a little bit, you know, and then you kick on the Z pinch and it'll it'll actually start working. Um, so you just got to watch out for those sorts of things. But again, just uh, just the engine by itself, and you know some control units, probe core, and I don't, I don't even need this this extra air intake. It has its own. Um, but what you absolutely have to remember is when you stage this engine, it is not ready to go yet. You gotta hit that button, and then you're ready to go. Because if you don't hit that button and you just leave it in fusion pellet mode, pop, nothing, right? You you get nothing. But as soon as you switch to atmosphere, you're in business. Cool, right? Alright, have fun with that, and if you want to see something else demonstrated, I am more than happy to do so. Cheers.